Welcome everybody to WWE Smackdown Review. Um, I did watch it. I actually had to watch recording. So, I'm still watch it though. Um, I'm going to review Smackdown now. Alright, uh, let's see. They are live from Lincoln, Nebraska. Alright. Start off the show. They started with Daniel Bryan doing his yes chance like normal. He always does the yes chance. I like Daniel Bryan. I wish he didn't have to retire. Um, so, talks about that uh, six pack challenge for a new Divas, or sorry, Women's Championship, for that Women's Championship. I'm not a fan of the six pack challenge stuff. I mean, that's just me. I don't like them. But that's just it. I don't think maybe we should have a tournament, but they're going to have like, what, three weeks maybe to promote this um, first SmackDown pay per view. And then Raw has like a month to do it. I mean, it's just they have a little over a month, I guess, to do it. I mean, it just didn't seem like they were taking backlash seriously. But now they add some stuff to make it actually more serious. But still, not much time to promote. But anyways, all right. So Six Packs Challenge. She's talking about it. I've seen the title. WWE titles. They're just taking that the big belt and the big belt, the World Heavyweight Title belt. They took and made it awesome, and they're just replicating and replicating, and replicating. You need a couple of new belts. I mean, look at the Intercontinental in the United States. It's not this trade off we want. It's they look different. All they did was add different colors. I mean, whatever. He first brings out Becky Lynch. I'm a big fan of Becky Lynch. I really am. She's awesome. I just love her. I, I think it's smart to, you know, make her the first round draft pick. Now, he plugs Total Bellas. I'm not watching it. I didn't like Total Divas. I'm not going to like Total Bellas. Sorry, not going to happen. And then, you know, they talk, of course, Becky talks about what it means to be a champion. Natalya comes out and interrupts her. Natalya's doing this heel thing I agree with. I think it's a little stupid, actually. I do like it. I mean, I do like her as a heel. She's an awesome heel. She's an awesome face, too, but she's an awesome heel. But, there's my thing. It's just, it, 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 it's too annoying. It's just annoying. Okay? It's just flat on annoying. But whatever. Um, calls, you know, of course she calls Becky Lynch boring. That was the worst day of her career when Becky got Lynch. I mean, she's just bitching, just bitching, 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 bitching. Then here comes Alexa Bliss. I kind of like Alexa Bliss. I'm just not, I haven't seen her that much. I mean, she's new. I, I gotta watch more. But, alright, she's good heel, I guess. I mean, she's a little, whatever. And then here, and then she talked about breaking the light. And here comes Camilla. I like Camilla. I mean, I like her as a heel. She's aggressive and all this. And she's this queen or princess of Staten Island crap. It's kind of annoying. And it's kind of stupid. I don't like it. I don't care if you don't like my opinion. I just don't like that. I don't like it. I think it's stupid. It's that moonwalk crap, whatever. Well, then they get in an argument. And, of course, they're like, wait a minute. Let's just tag Becky. Becky's. Always ready for a fight, you know, so Becky's back and up ready to fight. And then here comes Naomi, of course. And then here comes Nikki, of course. And Nikki gets dropped by Carmella, retreats as Becky and Naomi clear the ring. Carmella and Nikki are going to have a good feud. I think they are. But I don't know about Nikki's neck. I think they need to be a little more careful with Nikki's neck. I mean, she did have major major surgery on her neck so they need to care, be careful with the neck they really do or she they're not going to have a diva they need more careful with the neck but it, they're going to have a six a six women tag team later it's I don't like the six tag team crap but it's just a way to get everything so next they talk about Ambrose and style at Backlash or we'll face off in the middle of the ring I like the feud. They're both. I just like them. I just like the feel now. All right, Danny Bryan is backstage. Shane Man talk about the intercom, and then Miz. When Miz walks in, um, I I just don't like the Miz right now. I mean, he's playing a great heel, 
And it's just, he just seems like a whiny bitch. He does. He just seems like a whiny bitch to me right now. Um, he's going to face Paul Cruz. I know that. That's the next match. Um, pretty much he bitch, he's bitch about Dolph Ziggler. <sighs> Dolph Ziggler has been irrelevant for years now. And now they're throwing him into championship matches. He lost. And now he's in a... I mean, I don't know. what They try to make him top card. He lost on top card. He wasn't getting over. Now they're putting him in the mid card. They need to do something with Dolph Ziggler and do something quick or he's just become completely irrelevant and shouldn't have a job. My opinion. Sorry. Alright. The matchup is The Miz and Paulo Cruz. Uh, good match. Maybe three star, two star match. Not. It's just good, I guess. Um, let's see. I, it, like I said, it's just a good match. I mean, there's not much to say on it. Um, I mean, only really big spot was Miz pushing Cruz into the Ziggler. That was pretty much the only thing. Um, I mean, Miz won, of course, with Skull, skull Crushing Finale. But that, I mean, after Battle, Miz retreats when Ziggler gets in the ring. Ziggler is pissed off because he did that I mean it's just stupid I mean this it's gonna be a good rivalry it's gonna be a good match end up being a good match don't get me wrong it's just you know I just don't like the Miz I never have I'm not a big Miz fan I think he's a great heel I'm just not a big Miz fan uh, we go to Renee Young going to AJ Styles talking about with AJ Styles of course AJ Styles does his pitch Says how he's in face with the place, all you know, face that runs the place, all that crap. Talk about Dean Ambrose, ends up writing the production assistant. You know, I mean, he just playing a great heel. I think he's a good heel. He's an awesome heel all the time. He's an all right face, but AJ Styles, you know, he's good heel. Let's see. Go back to the oh. I couldn't wait for this match when I heard about Apollo Crews. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going back up. I like the Apollo Crews so much. Um, American Alpha and the Usos. Um, Usos, you know, in an interview, cut, they cut the promo about the American Alphas being in the tournament. They said they're going to show them. They're going to teach them, you know. And the line starts behind them. I do believe that. Usos are great tag team. Not, you know, they, you know, they've been, you know, around. But I think... This tournament should have, you know, it gave him a little bit of a boost. You know, okay. So, Bray Wyatt does a cryptic promo. I love Bray Wyatt. I don't care what he does. I love Bray Wyatt. I love what he does. I love just the way he does his pitches, his promos. He just exacts fear. I mean, he is... I'm not saying he's a new Undertaker, but he's that new Dark Force in WWE when Undertaker retires. They have the new Dark Force, which is Bray Wyatt. I mean, he's saying he's a god, saying, you know, he no Bray was no longer Predator. You know, it's just an awesome promo. He is the Eater of Worlds. I'm going to get a Bray Wyatt t-shirt when I can. Trust me. All right. Then a match of the six-man tag. I'm not going to dwell on this because I'm not, I'm oh, sorry, six-woman tag. Don't want to defend any of the ladies out there, you know. Um, but six woman tag. It ends up being Carmella, Nick, Natalia, and Alec. Because uh, Carmella applies the code of silence to Nikki to win. I, I don't know. It, it's just I. I think Nikki's got, not gonna. Nikki's just there to promote the brand, to promote Total Bellas, to promote this and that. She's not really. I don't think she's really gonna. When the title she does, she's going to be one of those transfer champions where she holds her for a little bit to transfer the next champion coming up to build that champion up, and then she'll be women's champion the next one, whoever that is. That's all I see Nikki Belly being. I don't honestly see her being a top dog much anymore, anymore like she used to be with her sister. I just don't. After that match, we go over with the baby. Okay. Still to come, of course, you didn't. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm reading from uh, Wrestling Inc. Because I can't totally remember the matches. So, 
suck it up. All right, now I did watch, like I said, I did watch, I just got recordings, I just can't remember all of it, so I'm using Wrestling Inc. to kind of refresh my memory. Um, go to the SmackDown Tag Tile, Uso versus American Out. I watch this. I think they're putting Usos as a heel run. I like it. I mean, they've been faced for a long time. They need a good heel run. And this is a good start. Taking out, uh, I think it was Gable. Yeah, Gable they took out. I think it's a good start. They uh, attacked them. They double teamed them. The match ended with American Alpha winning, which I figured they were going to go on. But um, they, with a quick win, but then Gable gets attacked. You know, they get attacked. They take out Gable. Gable. They take out Gable. So it, are they going to continue? Well, to just end it, Gable is out. American Alpha is out. Gable's knee was torn, I think. His knee that was torn. They're out for a while. So, on Smack Talk, um, oh yeah, Smack Talk, they said it was on Backlash. It was the Usos versus um, whatever a team I'll get back to later, I don't remember. Um, so, Fondango, Fondango comes out. Sorry, Dango, Fondango, how you want to say it? I don't like the gimmick. Always hated it since he started it. And Tyler Breeze. I mean, I like Tyler Breeze's moveset. I just don't like his gimmick. I think it's stupid. You know, he says he's in du Tyler Breeze is in Dubai. He's not there. Whatever reason. He then brings on with a dance. It doesn't work. She leaves. All ticked off. And Fondango acts like a, a jackass like normal. Kane comes out uh, to a pop, which Kane's Kane. He's always going to be there until he retires. He needs to retire. I don't like Kane no more. I think he's irrelevant. Um, like J, uh, JD from New York, Joe Six. I got a, couple, I got a t shirt, a little range, but I don't get off my TV. Get off my TV, Kane. I don't want to see you no more. Um, but Kane comes down. Choke slams, Fondango. Fondango. Sorry, I have no any attacks today. Um, I'm not editing all that, any of that out, by the way. Um, so, he chokes Lammy, mocks Fingernails Dance and leaves the ring. Like I said, get off my, get off the TV. I don't want to see Kane no more. It's stupid. It's done over. His time is done. You know, and then, of course, AJ. I mean, I thought that the segment was stupid with AJ yelling at somebody for taking a picture of him. He was behind. He used to face the wrong place. And before telling him to pick the font, peace. All right. Next is, they're talking about Rhino. Let's see. More about Karma's Cure. Again, go to the website, karmacrusher.com. Donate. It's a great cause. Just do it. And Curtis Axel. I guess Curtis Axel is reventing himself again. I hope they do good with Curtis Axel. I like Curtis Axel. I've been a Curtis Axel fan. But it just seems like they've been screwing him over. So... They need to do something with him. I hope it's better than his uh, Hulk or, or Curse Mania crap. I'm just done over with. All right, next match is Rhino and Slater, which I would never thought of a tag team ever versus the Hype Bros. I'm not a big fan of the Hype Bros. Never really been a fan of Zack Ryder and Mojo. I never really see Mojo Raleigh. I haven't been watching NXT a lot. Probably should have. But. That's that. Ryan, I know Rhino and Heath Slater win, and they're having the Hype Bros versus the Usos at Backlash for the tournament to finish off the tournament to face Rhino and Heath Slater. I think the Usos are going to win. I do think Heath Slater is going to get contract even if they lose. But it was a good match. Rhino won with a gore. And of course, Heath Slater was the jobber of himself. He did all, you know, Ryder was great in it. Everybody's great in it. Celebrating, it's awesome. He suddenly meets his meets his family, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, they so Usos cut a hero promo on an interview with Renee Young, and so like I said, he Usos are going to be have a heel turn, which I think is great. I think it's the most fantastic thing I could do right now. I mean, I don't think they should have took out Gable and 
American Alpha. I'm a big fan of Novak's not a big fan of American Alpha. I'm a big fan of American Alpha. I'm a mega I'm a American Alpha fan. Always will be. AJ comes out and you know before Ambrose speaks, of course they get in the ring together. I love this promo. I thought it was the best promo in the world. I think it was a great way to end the show. Um, Ambrose felt bad for AJ. He just wanted him to have something. Gives him a trophy, which cracked me up. That cracked me up. I thought that was a brilliant thing. And then Ambrose just cuts this promo of just epic proportion on AJ. I mean, yeah, of course, AJ does his thing, but I love Dean Ambrose's promos when he just gets that serious look, like that serious promo. When Dean Ambrose gets that serious promo in, it just stops the world for a minute. It really does. I mean, he tells him that, you know, you know, that, you know, you may have beat John Cena wrestling match. That's not my style. I, I mean, if you watch Dean Ambrose, yeah, he pushes people to the limit. I mean, he goes, except for that Brock Lesnar match, we're not going into that. But, I mean, Ambo, Ambrose is just, when he gets in that serious mode, I mean, I'm just a big Ambrose fan. He says there's no trophies for second place. He called him the face that runs second place, you know. I mean, it was just a great promo. One of the best promos. This is not going to be a long video. So, I mean, but it was a, it was a great. AJ did a great promo saying uh, everybody thinks he's joking. He doesn't a joke. Make a joke out of me. I'm still going to win. That's the way it's going to be. That's it. Boom. You know, it was just... As the words get more hate, of course, AJ does a low blow because of what happened to him last week when he went for the phenomenal forearm and Ambrose made him tie up on the rope with his nuts. He's nuts. And so, I mean, it was just funny. Great promo. Then he, you know, did a low blow, goes off. He smashes the trophy and just walks off. Ambrose fans boo him, boo AJ. You know, it was just the way it is. And then Spectre goes off air. Look, SmackDown should stay two hours. It is a great show. I'm a more SmackDown fan than I am Raw fan. Let's put it that way. I give SmackDown a B plus. It wasn't the greatest show in the world. I mean, but it was an amazing show. It was, there was a few spots I didn't like. Um, or, you know. So, and the fact that Emmerich Alpha was, you know... Taken out that didn't help that that kind of helped the B plus but you know I'm a big fan of SmackDown they need to stay two hours uh, Daniel Bryan said they are staying two hours so I'm hoping they stay with that but yeah I mean there's like I said it's a B plus I had so there's not much to say I mean I, I, I'm kind of, for my predictions of it on Backlash, I'll do a different video for that. But, um, I'll do it right before the pay-per-view on that, just a heads up. I'm going to do a, uh, pre, um, my guesses for the pay-per-view, and that'll be that. So, uh, again, peace out, y'all. Uh, subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. If you did, thank you. I love y'all. Thank you. Peace out. I'm going to bed.